The shop classroom at O'Gorman High School didn't always look like this. The space was uh, kind of a glorified storage unit um, when we got in here because the shop class had shut down. They didn't draw very much interest and then we no longer had an instructor. So we had a, a year where we didn't offer any courses. Then Jeff Roan, an O'Gorman parent, offered to teach. Once we found an instructor, then we started partnering with Vegan Construction to identify what those classes would look like. When I was in school, our shop class was creating a project, whether it be a table or a bookshelf. Um, but, you know, thinking about maybe shop class becomes more uh, of the building trades and actually building walls and framing doors and windows in. They decided to offer two classes, Intro to Building Construction and Carpentry. We came in, cleaned up the place, uh, you know, a coat of white paint does a lot, um, updated the lighting, uh, but then also, you know, helped out with the purchase of equipment and, um, you know, different resources that they could use for the class. I'll tell you this, we don't exist right now, this program, without vegan construction. Uh, we've had a lot of help from other people, um, but I can say that with great confidence. They said, well, would you be willing to speak to the kids at orientation and talk about what this class could become? So we did that. Uh, you know, we stood in the auditorium and talked to them about, you know, what the class curriculum was uh, and, you know, maybe an opportunity for future endeavors out in uh, the industry. And they had 60 kids sign up for the class. So... Uh, it was just overwhelming response, and I think there was a lot of excitement about the program. It was just insane from the my freshman year to my senior year. That shop has changed completely thanks to Feeding Construction, and it is awesome. A broad group of students signed up, from those interested in construction-related careers to those learning skills for future home repairs. I am interested in an architecture career or a design career along that path, and. I took the architecture class last year, and when I saw this, the intro to building and construction, I thought that it would be nice to um, see how the buildings are actually built and get a little hands-on experience in that field. After starting with the basics, they quickly moved on to building four sheds. It's a very structured program to where we are all going to learn every single aspect of building that shed. It's not one person doing everything, it's everybody's going to help with everything. I'm fine swinging the hammer, I've run the table saws, I have really enjoyed it and yeah, I've just been super comfortable with the tools which is awesome. It's just really fun to see these sheds coming together. We are planning on auctioning one of them off at our extravaganza that we host every year. It's our big fundraiser that we do as a Sioux Falls Catholic School system. And then the other three that we have, we're going to be selling to the community. The students then toured an actual vegan construction site. They wanted them to get out in the community and see what that looked like um, out in the workforce. And so, you know, they have projects going on all over town all year long. And so that's a nice advantage for our students to have, to, to take what they're learning in the classroom and be able to see it in action on a real job site. I have learned a lot about, like, the process of a building coming together. And I think that's really important with an architect putting together plans, making sure that they understand how to make sure the builder knows what the architect was thinking, communication skills, um, things like that. So I will definitely use this knowledge as I go off to college and study in the area. It's something that you can learn, it's something that you can use in your day-to-day -day life, and you can always apply this kind of stuff to like fixing your house or roofing a couple shingles on your house if you got some hail damage or just little things like that. And then if you really want to, you can go on and further your education and then this can just be the, the stepping stone for that. After high school, I'm going to go out to Mitchell Tech and I'm going to become a power lineman. So it's still going to be hands-on and I did this so then I can learn some of the trades out there. If I have to cut a, a pole or something like that, then, then I already know how to do it from this. Next semester, we'll teach interior work. Putting in windows, um, uh, drywalling, mudding and taping, um, painting, some of those interior skills that they need. Ultimately, we want uh, these students to have um, access uh, to all sorts of different trades. It's not just, you know, feeding construction as a general contractor looking for workers. It's everyone in our industry.